I'm here with Ben and Elle. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, actually, I've come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> you should be thanking me. Um, no, it's so good to be here in Mount Gambier. Um, yeah, thanks, Joe. My jo. first time in Mount Gambier. So, yeah, well, it's great um, to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Perfect day for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Are you both Mount Gambier locals? Uh, well, I grew up in Narracourt, which is about 100 kilometres yeah. from here. And, and I pretty much grew up in Narracourt. Okay, and how did you guys meet? Uh, <laughs> at my best friend's 21st. That's, That's right. what we first, yes. And then, yeah, and then we got together at the at the nightclub. Yes, <laughs> it's very very <laughs> Aussie yeah. story, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's um, yeah, yeah. Uh, celebrated our nineteenth wedding anniversary yeah. on was it Monday? When Tuesday? was your when was your meeting? I can't remember. <laughs> Tuesday Monday. First. Oh yeah, yeah the you first. Yeah, the first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I Maybe saw that. Yeah, it was this week. Yeah, yeah it was that. this week. <laughs> it was this week. <laughs> it was very and, romantic. Your, and your <laughs> eldest daughter has turned eighteen, yes. which is very yeah. exciting. Yep. So which is good. it's very cool. So mm. yeah. yeah. And was it love at first sight? It was, oh. I think. Oh, it was for Maybe ben. not. Yeah. All right, fine. I just thought he was cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was love at first sight for Ben but not Elle. Yeah. Elle thought I was cute. Yeah, yeah. And now I've I've aged horribly. No, yeah, <laughs> it's very beautiful. Nineteen yeah. years is quite special. Well, we should talk about why I'm here. So, yeah. Ben, you've introduced the live birth spill. That's right. Yep. And Elle, I guess you've seen your husband suddenly become yes, yeah, yeah. the centre of media storm yes. around it, and yes. people are saying pretty horrible things. Actually, Ben's trying to control women's bodies. <laughs> what yeah. are some of the other things that you've heard them people say? Oh, what have they said? I can't really. Remember. There's so much on yeah. there at the moment. And, um, What's the thing you found the hardest in, in since this has come out? Just saying, like he's not understanding, and it's all about him being religious and liberal, being a liberal mm. party member, and it's not about Ben as a person who's a real true person, and yeah. he just believes in this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that really hard as his wife to hear people saying it's just a political stunt? He's doing it. Yes. So, yeah. 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 Yep. And and you know Ben. I mean, what would you say to people who don't know him? And they you know, trust in politicians is quite low because we're yep. just used to these. Let's put them all in the same mm. um in the same bracket, yep. I guess. But Ben is the most truest person where if, if he believes in something, he just is going to go full steam ahead with it. Mm. Um and he can't see anything else but the end goal, yeah. which is, um, this is very positive. Yeah. yeah. So Elle, when Ben said, I'm going to introduce this live birth spill and, you know, you saw what it was about, what was your reaction to that? I was actually quite shocked that it, it actually is a p political issue in the sense that how can't that just go through? Yeah. Like how, how can people kill a baby, because that's what it is, that is viable, that like can come out of the womb and and live yeah. like yeah. live and breathe and I mean yeah a 28 weeker it is extremely preterm yeah. um if you look at it on the scale once it's yeah, 28 but 29 it's like in that mid range yeah. um it will need some help to you know respiratory rate like respiratory and um temperature and it might have a lot of ailments along that's premature yeah. but it will survive yeah yeah and as it gets older like it can you know, in the 30-odd weeks, 34 weeks, sometimes it doesn't even need any um, intervention whatsoever. And I just cannot understand how this, like how people say no to this bill. Mm. Like it's... Yeah. Mm. Because it's just skipping the injection part, right? It is. It's just skipping the it injection is. of potassium chloride. Yeah. It's not taking any right yeah. away from a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Did you... Because you're a midwife yes. and a nurse, is that right? Correct. And how yeah, long yeah. have you been um, I graduated... From uni in 2012, so I started at the hospital in 2012. Mm. Um, did my grad year as an RN, and then went straight into mid after that in yeah. 2013. And worked on the ward. And why since. did you become a midwife? So before that, I was a labourer, but I yeah. always had in the back of my head, even when I was a teenager, that I'd be a nurse for mm. some reason. And um, I had a good friend. No, I had um, breastfeeding issues, and I had this beautiful midwife who would come see me every week for ten weeks mm. and got me on to um, breastfeeding exclusively. And I thought, I want to do that. I want to be someone that helps someone like that mm. and makes them feel good about themselves. Yeah. So then um, I had a friend that was an RN, RM. She goes, do your RN first and then do your RM. And that's what I did. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And have you ever delivered a baby at that 28-week or beyond gestation? 
we are a level four hospital, so we generally just have 34 weeks and up. Yeah. But, you know, we are in a community. You can't stop a baby be born. So yeah. I did have um, experience that I had um, helped deliver a 28-week baby. Um, and that little baby I have seen grow up through its life. I think, oh, would he be about four now I think because I do immunizations as well so mm. they come to our immunization clinic mm. and I've done his immunizations and yes he had some respiratory issues afterwards yeah. um but he is a barely big boy yeah yeah so a few issues at first but yeah. he's fine now yeah yeah, yeah he's yeah. fine yeah. and that I mean that's and what the data shows that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben read into the hand side about yeah the fact that at 96 percent of babies at 28 weeks will get mm. discharged from hospital mm. you yeah. know yeah, and so for you, Ben, um, knowing that Elle delivers these babies and for you, is this about about Elle and the midwives that she works with and the midwives that have reached out to you? I know you read into the Hansard a really tragic story about the delivery of a stillborn 35-weeker who'd been injected with potassium chloride. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, it is because I think that... Um, Another unintended consequence of the Termination of Pregnancy Act 2021, um, not only uh, 45 healthy babies past 22 weeks and six days have been uh, killed in utero, but it's also the midwives that have mm. to um, deliver these stillborn babies. And a, a stillborn uh, birth uh, being natural, I think is um, hard enough for mm. our midwives, but for one that's um, been killed uh, on purpose, um, I think is is pretty tragic, and I've certainly heard that from the midwives that have reached out to me, uh, and and knowing L and the L the passion that L has for um, you know for helping mums, like L said, that's what she got into to help mums yeah. and to help little bubs come along and um, you know deliver the next generation of South Australians. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that there is anything more important than ensuring that we do you know protect um, the 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 ones that, who can't protect themselves. Mm. Uh, and we know that, yeah, like as you said, Joe, 96%, um, uh, you know, survival rate for babies past 28 weeks, irrespective of what some doctors or former doctors might be mm. saying in the media and putting in their letters to the editor. Mm. The fact of the matter is the data we have is 96% mm. of 28-week 28 ba 28 babies will survive yeah. and it's 98% for 41 week babies yeah. which is full term. Yeah, so, so it's not a big mm. difference no, is it? It's not. And that's no. SA Health's own data. That's right. 96%. Mm. Yeah. Um, Elle, did you know about this method of late term abortion that they would inject the baby's heart with potassium chloride no. and induce the baby stillborn and that the mother would go through labour and deliver a dead child? Did you? No, did, I didn't know. I was shocked. I, yeah, I still can't believe that's what they do to these little babies. Mm. Yeah. So it's, you don't learn it at, at, in, at uni studying midwifery? No. I did, like, you can't even do that to an animal. You can't even do that to a serial killer. Like, you have mm. to sedate them first. And these little babies, they, like, in utero, they get to know their, I think it was from, is it 24 weeks? Don't quote me on that. But mm. they, they learn their mums and their dads or their families' voices and mm. they can feel pain. And um, you can see when they come out, when, like little babies, that they know their mum's voice or they know their dad's voice. You just like you just see the animation um, that yeah the little babies have. Like I, I, I like pick up a little baby and I just think, oh, you can be anything mm. in this world. And, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe this is what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Hmm. Yeah, it's been pretty shocking, I think, to learn yeah. about the 45 healthy babies mm. because one of the lies that often gets told is that these are babies that are just going to die anyway. Yeah, but even a sick baby. Yeah. Like, why do that to a sick baby? Mm. But I don't even think that the mums with sick babies on board would want to do this yeah. because they they want to have that, that cuddle with that baby and be there for its last breath mm. and... And to know that it's it's love before it, it passes away. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cruel. It is. Um, that, you know, they talk about it as compassion, but mm. for that little baby to be in the place where they're safest and to be brutally injected in mm. the dead of the night and then, you know, it, there's a burning sensation, mm. pattern, what I've read with potassium chloride, like it's, it's horrific. And, yeah. you know, then to induce that child dead without any love. Sorry, but needle going into the heart, yeah. like going through, piercing through the skin would be... Like very painful, let alone the injection itself. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, I, you know, I think that we probably, the reason we get away with it is because nobody knows. Do you think no. that's true? Definitely. Yeah. They don't actually, they don't want to hear what the truth is. Yeah. 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 Have you seen a different side of Ben since this bill has been introduced? Like, has he, have you had seen him have to withstand some pretty bad attacks and what yes, have you noticed? I don't know how, oh, I don't know how he can deal with it. Like, I don't deal with it well yeah. at all. Like, yeah. I want to be just on the attack, like, yeah. all the time. And I want to tell the truth and, yeah. like... Because obviously I have midwifery friends, yeah. okay, and I I have heard things. I've heard actually what happens, and but no one wants to hear that. They wouldn't want to hear that. They just want to put it like it, it doesn't happen. They can't even see that this is a baby. Mm. They just think of the woman, and you know that she might have her issues, and that's okay. But the baby doesn't have to suffer for that. Mm. And I and I also think there's a lot of research to show that late term abortion is very gruelling on the woman. And yes. all this does is allow her to deliver her baby alive. It's actually yes. a less invasive, more efficient, quicker procedure. Actually, another thing I thought about yeah. is that, like, how can someone with, you know, a mental health issue, how can, firstly, she can make that decision? Because if she was suicidal, like, actually suicidal, she would be in hospital, they would send her off, like, you know, She's tried to kill herself. Um, they were sent her off without her um, permission. Like it's an, it's an ITO, I think it's called. And she'd be sent somewhere for, for help. So how can she make this decision to kill her baby? Mm. And what's that going to do to her, for her future when she actually gets better and realises what actually has happened? Mm. Like how can that be a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Like people say about postnatal depression, like what do you think this is going to do for postnatal depression? Just because you haven't got a baby, does that mean you're not going to get postnatal depression? No, that's not right. Mm. You, you can. Yeah. It'll make it worse. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I don't know what supports these women get actually after they've, you know, been part of this brutal operation to kill their child and go through labour, deliver them stillborn. Yeah. You know, they're still lactating after yeah. the baby comes through. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't just stop. No. Yeah. And, and what support do they get, you know? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully they get some yeah support, like a phone call or yeah, <laughs> yeah social workers. Yeah. Or, yeah. Ben, have you seen a different side in L? I certainly have. <laughs> um, I've had to talk Elle off the cliff a yes. few times. There is a rule in politics, don't read the comments. Um, and there has been some wonderful comments, some really encouraging comments um, that have come through the posts that yeah. that, um, that you've done, Joe, and that, well, that I've been a just part to of. Interrupt, I would say the majority of South Australians, the vast majority are with you. It's just this very vocal, mm. radical left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. And, I, well, I, yeah, I've definitely seen a, a different side of Elle. I love Elle's passion for this. Um, and to me, that, that speaks volumes. This mm. is a midwife. This is someone who has made this their career to care and nurture mums and their babies. And, and Elle's really emotional response to this, I think, as I said, speaks volumes about that this is wrong. That I think I was getting depression last wrong. week. Mm. I was like, I'd wake up crying, yeah. just thinking about it. I just could not believe it. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I was the yeah. same. Yeah. When I first found out, yeah. I would get nightmares and... Yeah. Um, it really rocked me to the core. I was very yeah. emotional about yeah. it too. I think anyone who's given birth, yeah. any mum, you, yeah. you just can't think about what it would be like to intentionally kill your child and deliver them stillborn and what that looks like. You know, And you, you feel yeah. for the mum who's in that situation mm. because she must be feeling so low to even be thinking about yeah. that. But the fact that they don't give her the other option, like Ben's bill gives her the other option so she doesn't That's have right. to do that. Mm. She yep. can end her pregnancy and deliver the baby alive, yep. you know. It just makes sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And then that little baby possibly goes to, well, hopefully goes to a really loving family mm. um, and has a beautiful life. Yeah, yeah. Or the yeah. mum changes their mind. That's right. There is research that yeah. shows mum ch mums mm. change their mind. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and then and they're, they're happy and they say it's the best mm. thing that ever happened to them to yeah. have that child. So, you know, sorry, Ben, you were oh, yeah, sorry. We, we, we just interrupted <laughs> No, you that's all right. I don't mind. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot, lot of people are saying that I'm... <laughs> that I'm you know, taking away women's rights and oh, things. Right. And, no, yeah, we're well, uh, outnumbered never, in this conversation. I'm, I'm always outnumbered. <laughs> you know, I've got I've got two beautiful daughters and Elle, yeah. Yeah. and then Arlo yeah. and I. You know, so it's two to three. So we're always outnumbered, <laughs> and that's fine. I, I don't I mind. I studied it. a lot through when Neve was little, and then when Piper was first born, and Ben was the one who because I was 
Pipe was four months old. I was still breastfeeding and mm. then had to like take care of Piper. Mm. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to go to, cause I had to go to my placement. Yeah. I had an eight week yeah. placement and there's no way I wasn't going to yeah. um, graduate with everyone I went to uni with. And yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's what dad does, to, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when mum's got to go off and yeah. you know, become a midwife. So what do you hope for the bill, Ben? I, I hope that um, you know my colleagues see this as the right thing to do, yeah. that it is not a radical bill. It is not a yeah. forcing of anyone to do anything, yes. um, irrespective of what the media might say. Mm. This, is, this is the ability for the mum to continue uh, her or her choice to terminate a pregnancy, mm. but past 28 yeah. weeks, this baby will be born alive and, as Elle said, have every chance of life. Yeah. Um, that if this baby is incompatible with life, um, it will be provided every palliative care mm -hmm. and given absolute comfort before it passes mm. away instead of a violent and brutal death inside the place where they're meant to be the safest. Yeah. yeah. And you, Elle, what's your hope for the bill? I just hope it goes through and people are educated and see what this bill is actually mm. about. Because yeah. as Ben said, it's not taking any right away from the woman. It's just giving the right for that little baby to live. Yeah. So, yeah. Elle, I've heard Ben say that you're pro-choice. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you're supporting this bill. How do you marry those two sides? Well... I believe, like, I do believe in pro-choice because people do, you know, they make mistakes and there is options at an early stage in pregnancy that you can, um, like, in the first seven weeks, you can just take a couple of medications and that will help the, you know, the embryo come away. Um, and then there's also regular, um, like, scans. So there's a morph scan around 19, 20 weeks and parents can find out their baby is not compatible with life or they have an ailment that may interfere with, you know, having a very good life or the life of their, their current family. And I believe, you know, it, there should be a choice there for the parents or the family to be able to then have, a, you know, have their baby um, more terminated, I guess, or have... Yeah, have, mm -hmm. but in the right way where we've got they they know exactly what they're going in for, they know exactly what's going to happen, and that baby still, if it is born alive, is, comes up to you know the parents and they just hold it. And, mm -hmm. and what, what for you then is the difference with this bill? Is that that baby at twenty eight weeks, or even? I know it's because it's a third trimester. From about 24, I believe now it's gone back to even 23, they can mm. survive. But at 28 yeah. weeks, that baby can survive by itself. Like it, mm. it is, it, it will need some help at 28 weeks, but I just, I just see it more, I don't know how to explain it. Well, how they're not dependent that? on their mother's body, they're not, are they? They're not. Yeah. They're, they're individual, they still were individual life, but they're an individual life that can survive quite easily mm. um, and live a normal life. Yeah. 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 So it's a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. It's a third trimester. It's seven months. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just don't know how people can't see that. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of people would, would say that, you know, this is just a Christian issue um, and that's the only people that care about it is Christians. So that is not true because um, I'm, I'm not a Christian, but like, Ben is, mm -hmm. um, so I, I just think it's, I don't know how to say it, I just think it's, it's a moral issue, really, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a little baby, it's a life, it can't, it's not just to do with Christianity. Mm. Um, what would you say to the Premier, Peter Malinowskis, who said that, you know, Ben's just playing culture wars, that the people of South Australia don't really care about this issue very much? As a mum, what would you say, and as a midwife? What would you say? It's a, it's a life. It's a future person. That little person could be anything for, like, our future, mm. for its own future. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a human being. It's, it's a South Australian. It, it deserves to live. It should have a life. Yeah. Like, yeah. How, can't, how, how can't you see that? Mm. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thanks so Thank much for your time, guys. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. Thank, Thank you, you Joe.